Hi, I'm Kyle Tester. I'm the orchard manager out at Wilson's Orchard and Farm, and today we're walking through the sunflower patch. Planted sunflowers for the first time this year to kind of increase the diversity of crops that we grow out uh, on the orchard. We're going to do about three or four different plots, each about a half acre in size, and that'll have us with sunflowers ready for picking from now, which is mid-July, hopefully all the way through mid-October or so. Right now, this is our first planting that we planted early to mid-May. It contains two uh, series of sunflower, the Pro Cut series and the Sun Rich series. These are both single stem sunflowers, so they'll just have this one uh, flower for the whole plant. They're bred specifically for cut flowers, they're pollenless, which means if you have this on your dinner table, they won't be spilling pollen all over the white linen. The Pro Cut series ripens a little earlier, 50 to 60 days. We have, I think, eight different Pro, uh, Pro Cut sunflowers in here. There's Pro Cut Red, Pro Cut Plum, Pro Cut Bicolor, uh, White Light. So that comes in all different colors and e even sometimes two colors. And then the Sun Rich is also a single stem pollenless uh, bred for cut flowers and it ripens a little later, uh, 60 to 70 days. And those um, come in less colors, just pretty much orange or gold or white, but they're very vibrant and uh, very high quality. As you can see here, uh, sunflowers provide excellent source of nectar for a lot of our pollinizers. It's got a bunch of different type of bees, flies, butterflies, so it's uh, wonderful for supporting some of our beneficial insects out at Wilson's. So the wonderful thing about the Pro Cut series is all the different uh, diversity you get in colors. So this is Pro Cut Orange, kind of your classic sunflower, just yellow oranges. But also we can get into uh, some beautiful whites, like this White Knight, even all the way to reds, like this Pro Cut Red. The Pro Cut series also has beautiful bicolor sunflowers. As you can see, this is Pro Cut Plum with the nice plum towards the middle and the white towards the edge of the petals. So when you're picking sunflowers, you want to kind of decide what you're looking uh, to do with them. So if you want a big, uh, fully open one, that's great. These are going to be the biggest ones you can find out here, but they won't last uh, quite uh, as long in the vase. So if you're just looking for something big, centerpiece for a couple of days, this would be a great one to pick. But if you're looking for something that'll last a little longer, you want to pick them just as the petals start to unfurl, like this one here, or even this one here. So it's really what you want. Do you want a long shelf life, or do you want that big show? This will still open up all the way. It just not might not reach the size that this one does, but um, it'll be around longer to enjoy. All right, so yeah, this is just one of the fields of sunflowers we'll have. So um, we'll have sunflowers between this field and two or three others through October. In addition, we'll also be uh, having branching sunflowers, which uh, flower a little later, but they flower continuously um, and have like a lot of smaller flowers rather than one big one. But you can kind of just keep harvesting them and uh, they also come in a great variety of colors. So stay tuned, we'll probably shoot a video on the branching sunflowers as well. Um, in addition, we're also uh, doing several other cut flowers, zinnias, celosia, and cosmos. So stay tuned. 